If you look at the, the molecular structure of, of carrot salsa or, or juice, you would see a very common thread, a similarity to human blood. Blood has the, the role of transferring nutrients around the body. If you cut yourself, uh, blood can heal it. Blood brings everything you need to the, the point of operation. And uh, it, it is a source of life, a source of healing, and what have you. And carrot cell sap is in a similar vein. Now, if you compare that to the standard idea of a juice, which is free in the plant and, and, and easy to, to squeeze out. You can't squeeze out the juice of a carrot. And uh, the process was quite complex from a point of view that it was systematic. You had to start at A and end at Z and at the end of the day you would have a root extract. The cell sap is inside a cell and it's got a hard cell wall. And that has to be ruptured somehow. And there's a process of softening it up to rupture it so you can get the full extraction. Now, to put it into layman's terms, if you look at a carrot, you pull a carrot out of the garden, a fresh carrot, wash it off, and you take a bite. You can chew that carrot and you can extract some of the cell sap or the juice in the carrot. However, they say it's about 10% of the cells are going to be burst by your teeth. The other 90% are simply going to pass through your digestive system and never be available to your body. If you take a countertop juice extractor and you extract the carrots, you're going to find that you will rapture about 50% of the cells. And that can be clearly seen when, you, if you let it stand for a, an hour or, or so, that it begins to separate in various layers, which indicates that there's a lot of roughage in the, the juice and not all of it is cell sap. However, if you do it commercially and you do it with a, as a deliberate process, you can get 95 to 100% of the cell sap extracted without any unburst cells. The difference between drinking a carrot juice that you made in your own kitchen and drinking a commercially extracted one with his processes, you're doubling up the bioavailability.